Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video about TV's laboratories. I've done some further analysis of the stock and I would want to share my view regarding the same. Prior to me proceeding, I would just like to mention that this is an educational channel. All views expressed over here are for educational purposes only. So please do not make or take any financial decisions based on the views expressed over here. Kindly consult your financial advisor before you take any financial decisions also read the disclaimer below with that said let's proceed so what i've done is i've gone to the dv's website i've clicked on this third quarter 2022-2023 statement and then this is what it opens up <clears throat> after opening up i've gone to the the fifth page which reads statement of consolidated unaudited financial results for the quarter and nine months ended 31st december 2022 now guys when i go to this there are some there are some areas of concern and the primary area of concern is there is significant drop in sales compared to last year at the same time so 31st of 12 2021 if you look at the sale value over here which i'm highlighting and if you look at the sale value of 31 12 2022 you will see that one third is gone i hope you get that one third of the sales is gone other income has increased so total income also one third is gone we can further scrutinize everything below but that will all not matter because the damage is there in the very first column this is the area revenue from operations where the primary damages all right this is the damage area this and compared to this other things are all secondary their finance cost is secondary other expenses the employee benefit is gone marginally down does not much change so if you further analyze and this is available to anybody anybody can go to the website and take this report and check now when you further analyze this, the EPS has come down from 33 rupees 99 pesa to 11 rupees 56 pesa, which is two thirds gone. All right. So now, what I would like to say if two thirds are gone in terms of EPS, and if we go to the DV's chart, and the high was 5400. So what we'll do is, if two thirds are gone, we'll divide 5,400 by three. We get 1,800. So would it be fair to share to state that DV's lab has the potential to fall below 2,000 and come down to 1,800 levels? Well, if this kind of performance continues, I think it can. So DV's can come all the way over here. Let me just draw a line. DVs can come all the way over here and as you can also see that this is an area of support because on the way up also there was consolidation over here now it will not immediately come it will first probably come to 2400 and then bounce from there so it will it'll do all sorts of things before it comes to this level but the chances so it will go like this somewhat like this But if this kind of performance continues, then this is what is going to happen. All right. Also over here, I think what it's already done is one, two, three, four, five. If anybody knows uh, Elliott waves, and I'm sure, sure most of you do, because I've spoken about Elliott waves a lot in the previous videos as well. So let's do an Elliott wave of what we have currently witnessed over here. All right. So Elliott wave. One, two, three, four, five. So it's already done a series of one, two, three, four, five. It'll probably now consolidate over here by doing one, two, three, and then a second wave will start, which will be one, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस कैन इट हैपन वेल लुकिंग एट द कर लुकिंग एट द करंट बैलेंस शीट एंड द काइंड ऑफ रिपोर्ट दैट आर अवेलेबल ऑन दियर वेबसाइट इफ द परफॉर्मेंस कंटिन्यूज द वे इट इज दैन दिस इज वॉट इज लाइकली टू हैपन ऑल्सो दिस न्यूज दैट द फार्मास्यूटिकल मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडिया दैट बाई ए पी आईज फ्रॉम डीवीज आर ऑल गेरिंग अप टू प्रोड्यूस दियर ओन ए पी आईज नाउ इफ दैट हैपन्स दैट्स अ मेजर डिटरेंट बिकॉज दीज आर ऑल कस्टमर्स ऑफ of uh, dvs laboratories and if they start making apis by themselves apis are the components that are required to make medicines all right uh so any medicine that you consume the raw materials of this medicines are called apis and dvs manufactures those apis but if this manufactures big sun like sun pharma and and uh, lupin and all these companies they they start manufacturing their own apis and who would buy APIs from DV, so that's another concern. However, I still think that DV is a strong business. Will it go up in thinner? No, but if their if their if their profit margins are going to fall from forty odd levels to seventeen eighteen odd levels, and the the sales are going to go down the way they are, or have uh, uh, we have witnessed them going down, then it will be no surprise if DV's lab breaks the twenty two hundred mark first. and then it breaks the uh uh 2000 mark and then it breaks the 1800 or it it stops at the 1800 mark so that is very likely to happen i would not be surprised if that happens all right so i would just like to end this video on that note i'm not trying to be very negative about dvs laboratories i'm just stating out the facts as i see them and the facts are that sales are revenue from operations are terribly down and the profit margins are down if this continues then there will be a re-rating of dvs laboratories it will still be a good business but it will not get the kind of premiums that it has got in the past post covid it will come down to more normal levels on this note i'll end this video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to the channel also share with your family and friends i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye